talking about the wonderful characteristics and qualities of Ramchandra, who is often addressed as Mariyada Purushottam, <coughs> as the supreme personality who <coughs> personifies or he is an embodiment of all wonderful qualities. Uh, we start the discussion by saying Maharaj Parikshit's son uh, by the name Janame Jaya. He was very grave and very silent. He never spoke to anyone after the incident of uh, Maharaj Parikshit's departure. When Vaishampayana spoke to Janame Jaya, he said two words. He said Vanabhangam and Goharanam. From the word Vanabhangam, he spoke about how Hanuman, he actually smashed or he destroyed the Ashokvatika and he finally helped Ramchandra. So he spoke the whole Ramayana from the word Vanabhangam. And from the word Goharanam, he spoke about how King Virata's cows were stolen and revived later. So the whole Mahabharat were spoken. So from the word Vanabhangam and Goharanam, uh, Vaishampayana spoke Mahabharat, uh, Ramayana and Mahabharat respectively to Janamejaya. After the whole discussion, he asked Janamejaya that what are the four things you learnt out of this discussion? So Janamejaya said, the four things that I learnt are Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha, oftentimes called as the Chatur Purushartha. Religious principles, economic development, sense enjoyment or sense gratification and then finally liberation from mental existence. But then he said, I am disappointed. This doesn't satisfy me. I want to hear about something that will grant eternal peace. I want to hear about such a personality who is perfect. I want to hear about somebody with all the wonderful qualities. And talking about all the wonderful qualities, Valmiki starts his Ramayana by giving the six principal qualities of Ramchandra. Very interesting to see that as far as <coughs> Ramchandra is concerned, his childhood pastimes have been explained in seven verses. That's all. While Krishna's childhood pastimes have been explained in over 47 verses, uh, 47 chapters of the Krishna book and the Bhagavatam. That's because Krishna is Leela Purushottam. So through his pastimes, he is enacting different wonderful teachings. But his pastimes are never to be imitated. Krishna's words are to be followed and Ramchandra's example is to be followed. Ramchandra's actions as Mariyada Purushottam and Krishna's words as Leela Purushottam must be followed. So starting up with the six qualities, principal qualities in the character of Ramchandra, Valmiki starts Ramayana by saying, Konu asmin sampratam loke gunavan kahascha viryavan dharma nyascha krita nyascha satya vakyo drada vrata. So the first quality he says is gunavan. Ramchandra is somebody who is noble hearted, who is some, somebody who is filled with character. How do we know this? Any examples from Ramayana which, which make this point? There are so many such examples. But one striking example of Ramchandra being Gunavan <coughs> is that he always held his character even when the situation became provoking. Like for example, he was supposed to be king but then he was banished the very next day. He was to be coronated as the king from the prince to the king and by some politics in, in the palace, uh, Kaike and Mantra as the famous story goes, he was banished but he was still so grateful and Gunavan as an ideal son he still touched the feet of Dasharat and Mother Keiki and he followed their example. The second quality is Viryavan. Ramchandra killed so many demons he was fearless. He killed Tadaka who represents ignorance or Avidya. He destroyed Subahu who represents past sinful reactions and he shot an arrow to throw Marich 800 miles away uh, from that place. So he was very, very powerful. In fact, at one place, uh, when <coughs> Ramchandra saw that there was a big mountain of bones and skeletons of Brahmanas who were destroyed by Rakshasas, Ramchandra immediately touched his bow and arrow and he promised Vishwamitra and Vashishtha that he will help them in fighting all the demons single-handedly. And he was very powerful. As an ideal husband and Gunavan and being very powerful Viryavan, he could rescue Sita back. The third quality described is Dharma Jnaha. He knew religious principles perfectly. Like for example, 
being an ideal disciple when vashishtha and vishwamitra they took ramchandra and they said vatsa ram dhanu rupasya o son ram please look at that bow the shiva dhanusha which he had to lift ramchandra was such an ideal disciple that his guru just told him to go and see the bow but he went no he just didn't see the bow but he saw the intent behind the guru's instruction and did more than what he was just ordered being as an ideal husband dharmajnya knowing all the religious principles he knew that that deer was actually a maya mriga was a golden deer an illusion was the demon in disguise but still as an ideal husband to uh, satisfy the wants of the wife and to protect her later he followed religious principles and chased the deer and when she was kidnapped like uh, mariyada purushottam performing all his human like pastimes naralila he went over and rescued her killed ravana and also rescued other captives dharmajnya the fourth quality is kritajnya or gratitude he was so grateful like for example in the past time of building the ram setu or the bridge uh, to lanka everyone was helping and there's a incidents where hanuman used to carry big big uh, rocks while a squirrel and a sparrow were just taking small pebbles and hanuman laughed at them and said bridge means you need big big rocks and you're taking pebbles they are useless and ramchandra came and taught this principle to hanuman that just like you are carrying the best that you can the squirrel and the sparrows are carrying the best that they can so ramchandra was so grateful and accepting service from the smallest to the biggest with a grateful heart the fifth quality satya vakyo or somebody who is always truthful when ramchandra was banished vashishtha told ramchandra don't go you don't have to go there is some conspiracy here and there is some politics we'll settle it out you become the king but ramchandra told vashishtha i have already given my word satya vakyo i have promised i have given my word to my father and to my mother so i will do it i will not go back on my words and being an ideal kshatriya he lived by those principles and finally dridavrata the fact that he was determined in the final past times before he left and he uh, he coronated vibhishan he said this uh, very famous words where he said that uh, uh, anyone who comes to me and says o oh, ramchandra from this day i am yours i surrender to you o oh, vibhishan please understand from then on to protect him to maintain him to nourish him materially and spiritually is my duty so that is a determ- the determined vow that ramchandra took of yoga kshemam vahamyam of protecting Uh, his surrendered devotee so in this way valmiki describes the six qualities of ramchandra gunavan or somebody who is having proper wonderful character exemplary character viryavan somebody who is fearless and brave dharmajnya the true knower of religious principles kritajnya the attitude of gratitude satya vakyo being truthful and dridavrata being determined in protecting his devotees ramchandra bhagavan ki jai